Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. We're in beautiful yet scenic Whitecourt, Alberta, and we're gonna go camp behind the sign. It looks pretty good to me, fairly exposed, but when it gets dark, it should be good. A lot of traffic, so I just gotta wait for things to calm down because my backpack's big and I look suspicious. Hey, let's go. Really not much cover here at all. But uh, I'm gonna get this backpack off. Okay, so I'm just sitting here in between these two trees. Uh, it's nice and dry here, so I should be able to sleep right down here, no problems. Uh, there is visible traffic there. So I'm pretty much um, in the only spot that I can kind of hide. I have camo netting if I need it, but that sun's on the way down, so we should be okay. The sun is shining right at me, so I've moved a little further under these spruce boughs. Leaves me a little more exposed from this side, but the sun is in their face anyways, so they shouldn't notice me here. Around here is everything a stealth camper could ever need. There's a gas station there for washrooms. There's a steakhouse across the road in case I need a second supper tonight. There is a store for a step two. And um, a lot of traffic. Hopefully that dies down. In about another 20 minutes, it's going to be dark enough I can wander around a little bit and uh, show you the sights. So far, this traffic is only intensifying, just about dark enough to wander around a little bit. I'm using a two backpack system today. This little one that I can take with me, bring the camera gear and stuff. Then this great big monster that I always use, and that's got everything else in it. And I'll just tuck that under the tree here and nobody will see that. Let's go for a little walk. This town has a lot of industry, a lot of oil field workers, and there's many hotels here for lodging for out-of-town workers. Little do they know, they don't have to stay in those hotels. There's woods everywhere they could be camping in. It's my home tonight behind us. And first things first, I'm gonna investigate that liquor store a little bit. Mission successful. Not too much, just a beer so I can uh, have something to drink for a step two. I'm gonna investigate the washrooms at this gas station and grab another little something to drink. As far as gas station bathrooms, those are award-worthy, I have to say. Shortage of crosswalks here, but that's okay at this hour. Uh, the traffic is dying down. Some of these other spots look okay in the dark, but in the daytime, that was a no-go. This was the only good looking spot right in here. And it is really exposed out here. 
in my magic backpack today I'm packing some stuff for a fondue because uh, it's easy to cook I just need a little candle thing underneath of it dollar store folding tripod chair that will come in very handy little stove contraption that you'll see later for cooking this fondue got a air mattress that'll go inside the sleeping bag and I got this big old ugly yellow sleeping bag I've turned it inside out so it shouldn't be obvious Okay. Takes up most of the backpack is this thing. All right. Time for step two. No need to be stealthy with all these uh, semis and uh, air brakes and Jake brakes. Everything else going on. Doesn't get any better than this. I think it'd be stealthier if I found something in a green can. I am literally hiding in between two trees right now. There's a couple off on a tangent there that block a little bit of the view, but I'm relying on these two trees and the darkness for my stealth tonight. And the fact that probably nobody cares. These are all hardworking, productive, valuable members of society that do a little bit more than sleep in trees where they're not supposed to. This is a way more exposed stealth camp than usual. And I have to sit pretty still in between these trees. So I've got thermal underwear on, I got uh, thermal shirts, everything. But for a backup, I thought this might be the case. I got one of these heated vests, it takes a little rechargeable battery and I'm trying it out normally if I was active it wouldn't be a problem but sitting on a little stool being perfectly still uh, is not copacetic with staying warm so this should do the job okay there we go that means heat Stealthy as ever. This is not the controversial, much dreaded stealth test because nothing is really set up. But this is really open. Um, this side here, got the hotels, people driving past. Uh, sparsely spaced out trees here, right on through. This would be great in the summer if there was leaves on these, but there is not. And this is, this is it. These are the two trees here that I'll be camping underneath of. Around the other side, there's really not much cover. Okay. There's actually power here, but I don't want to do that. Uh, that's a full-blown law-breaking thing, uh, theft of utilities. And I just strive for minor bylaw infractions. But yeah, this is. This is it. This is all the cover I've got here. So, I'm gonna get this fondue going. I got one of these little alcohol gel fuel things and it burns nice and stealthily. And inside of one of these contraptions, this little folding stove thing, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to work with minimal light here. But it goes right in there. This is stealthy. In my pot here, I've got some healthy stuff uh, to dip in this cheese fondue. I've got some veggies, a little bit of meat and I got one of these pre-made fondue cheese packages I could make my own 
but this is way easier. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. good and melted fondue time uh, by the side of the road and fondues really require Swiss this is mostly a Swiss based it's from Switzerland you can really taste the Swiss you can make whatever type of cheese fondue you want but you got to have that Swiss in there so some sourdough bread pieces Numerous vegetables. Look at that. Mm. Cherry tomatoes. sausage it's a perfect thing to be eaten by the side of the highway fondue cooked up no problem look and you go to cauliflower mm, feeling healthier already mm. vitamins coursing through my veins soluble fiber mm. antioxidants it's getting chilly it's really feeling it actually and I've turned it inside out because <laughs> the other side is like that that's not good He doesn't care. The sleeping pad I brought is a little big to stuff inside of this, and normally I like to because everything is synthetic and slippery, and by the end of the night, you go off on an angle from your sleeping pad, and it's just not gonna work. Uh, these pine needles, though, they seem fairly level and soft. I'm gonna regret this in the morning, I know it already, but I'm gonna sleep right on these soft, wonderful spruce bow needles. It's gonna be the bed. And yeah, there's not much anywhere for for cover. This will do just fine. I haven't been able to camp for a bit. I put up a social media post uh, a few days ago on uh, Facebook and Instagram and X or whatever it's called now, and a YouTube community thing, uh, that I am back in Alberta unexpectedly for an urgent reason. And I will discuss that eventually here. Um, but uh, I'm back in beautiful Alberta, uh, enjoying a little bit of a warm spell here, although it doesn't feel very warm. My, uh, my doctor has recommended not camping outside in sub-zero temperatures uh, for my poor sinuses that I put through uh, everything on this earth from abandoned mines to old cabins, uh, old nuclear bunker type things. So it's, uh, I, I'm trying to go to warmer climates as much as possible, but uh, it's good to be back, good to see garbage, good to see friends and family. And uh, so I'll give an update here at some point on as what's going on, but uh, uh, thanks for sticking with me here. I'm um, just trying to lay low. I haven't seen a lot of police around here and I am expecting to. There was somebody earlier shouting at somebody, hey, get away from my truck. And I laid low because uh, if people are worried about somebody breaking into their trucks, 
they're gonna not want to see me out here in the bush um, with camping gear. <laughs> so um, it's dying down a little bit. I'm gonna walk around here and kind of see uh, a complete circle around here. But what's going on? Got back in my woods here. A lot of people, a lot of people still out and about. I did bring that camouflage netting with me, but there's nowhere to really hang it up. I think it would make things look more obvious if there was just a big sheet of camo, particularly when the sun comes up, which will be early. Looks like that gas station is just about closing. People are taking out garbage and stuff. Uh, they open up pretty early though, six in the morning, and I don't plan on sleeping in here. Even though there was a lot of artery clogging cheese and that fondue, those vegetables made me feel a lot healthier and I'm sure they're gonna flush out a lot of all of that stuff. Somebody just got let out of a vehicle and they're walking pretty close by here. shadows so these two trees I'm camping underneath of tonight you just go around them that's all there is to it Time for bed. I'm just gonna crawl in here and pray I'm gonna stay warm enough tonight. It's not supposed to be that cold, but I'm really feeling cold, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> and when the sun comes up, I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So, good night, everybody, and uh, see you in the morning. Hopefully, um, it all goes smoothly. Uh, Morning is always the most awkward time to wake up and remember where you are in situations like this. So, night everybody. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. Um, the temperature last night was very suitable, adequate, and satisfying. Um, the spruce needles left a little to be desired, but it was kind of to be expected. Uh, it did get pretty chilly from what I can feel, but I'm very exposed right now. It's getting very bright out, so it's just about time to get out of here. <laughs> My two little trees don't seem as stealthy in the morning, I'll say that. I really like the simple setups because I wouldn't want to be deflating that air mattress right now. I'd much rather put up with the questionable sleep than a big pile of stuff to pack up in no time flat. Everything here has been left sparkling clean. Out before the sun's even fully risen. Uh, there was that wonderful power, which would have been nice to have a 
something heated to plug in there or to cook with. But anyway, uh, that's this is the the stealth spot. Things uh, do get stealthier than that, but as far as a bare bones little stealth setup, that was pretty good. Go check out that uh, gas station. See if they got a hot breakfast sandwich for me. Okay, how's this gonna be? Uh, we'll find out. 5.95. Okay. So it's like, looks like if you're in Canada, it looks closer to uh, an A&W breakfast. Hey, wow, there's two of these egg things. I don't know if they're real cracked eggs or what the deal is, but bacon, cheese, bun, egg. Mm. Definitely work for a hungry, hungry uh, fellow off to work in the morning. Okay, back along the side of the road for one reason. The sun's about to rise. It's getting brighter, and I realized I forgot my glasses and my trees over there. I'm gonna make one last run to go get my sunglasses. It's more like it. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, please consider subscribing. Um, it'll help you know when my, as of late, erratic videos have been coming out. Um, but there, I will mention what's going on there fairly shortly. Uh, I appreciate your patience as always. And um, I've got a couple more to do here uh, while I'm in the area. I've scoped things out. Uh, I think everything's gonna be all right. So, see you guys. Uh, hopefully next week, and hunker down, my friends.